Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. William Nib High School student Kamal Hall is now dead and a schoolmate taken into police custody following a stabbing incident at the institution in Trelawney on Monday. Reports are that shortly after 11 a.m., Mr. Hall was on the school compound when he allegedly got in an altercation over a ring with another male student who pulled a knife. One man was killed, another shot and injured, and a woman sexually assaulted during a robbery in Nemhard Town, St. Elizabeth, last night. 29-year-old Jermaine Green was killed after the gunman invaded the family home and demanded cash and cellular phones. British royals, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, are due to arrive in Jamaica tomorrow as part of a tour to celebrate 70 years on the throne for Queen Elizabeth II, who is also Jamaica's head of state. More civil groups are speaking out against the visit, the latest being the Rastafarian community in western Jamaica that's said although it won't protest, it will demand reparation from Britain for slavery. Stephen Jones, the 63-year-old owner of the iconic Boone Hall Oasis in Stony Hill, St. Andrew, died on Monday. He was diagnosed with leukemia. In sports, a maximum of 20,000 patrons, both vaccinated and unvaccinated, will be allowed to attend this year's staging of the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls High School Athletics Championships, which will run from April 5 to April 9. In New York currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $153.61, the British pound sterling for $200.79, and the Canadian dollar for $122.04. In your weather forecast, on Tuesday morning, expect showers across eastern parishes. It will be partly cloudy otherwise. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across northern and hilly areas. It will be windy across southern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.